Welcome Capricorn to your reading. I'm Scorpio Moon. Intuition bring messages from spirit. This reading is general and it may or may not resonate with you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can visit www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. This reading is for sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Cross watcher, if you're the ones watching this, then it may resonate with you. So let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides and all angels, nice and great is good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing and love to all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. <clears throat> all right, guys. So let's go ahead and take a look. Spirit, what does Capricorn need to know? about their love interest who is the person that is connected to capricorns and love please reveal to me who is the person that is connected to the sign of capricorn what do we need to know please spirit please bring me clear messages in regards to this person that is connected to capricorns and love thank you all right so we have some lessons um what i'm feeling with this is that your person is being uh divinely guided to learn something new now i'm seeing a letter j and i see a letter a okay uh i also see a letter g um that spells jag <laughs> sorry guys maybe um uh, the particular person uh, that you are connected to has a jaguar. Um, I'm also seeing the letter M, like double M's. Okay, so if that's any kind of significance, um, uh, I'm being called to um, kind of speak about that. Okay, now whoever this person is, okay, this person is learning the lessons about letting go of a family. So... <clears throat> I have a feeling that they're going through some sort of change, but this change isn't easy. They're having a hard time of doing this major transformation, but at least they're being a, a little bit creative to really think about the possibilities, but right now they're having a hard time reinventing themselves. So Capricorn, what I'm sensing is that whoever that you're connected to, um, it feels as if they're going through a dark night of the soul. Okay, I'm not going to lie. Um, they're learning some sort of karmic lesson with a karmic family, and they're learning to let go of this particular family. Uh, they're having a hard time changing. Okay, so you could be dealing with a fixed sign, and that's for some. Uh, and in regards to like thinking of the possibilities on how they could, uh, you know, go through this difficult period, it's really hard. Okay. That's the feeling that I'm getting. And um, they're really connected to their 5D consciousness. So what I'm, I'm sensing, okay, um, if you are dealing with a twin soul or someone who is spiritual in nature, I have a feeling that they've been connecting to their higher self, operating in their space, in their heart space, for that matter, to get to this 5D consciousness. And what I'm seeing is that they are actually with you in spirit. Okay, so this person is thinking about you. I don't feel like you guys are really together. And both you guys are going through like all space and time, like going through this uh, tunnel together, you know, very much like what you see here. So I have a feeling that if this is your twin, 
Both you guys are going through this difficult time, but separately, but through spirit, you are actually feeling each other in this dimension. Okay. Um, so as uh, this particular person is connecting with you, I, I have a feeling that they're no longer stuck. So energetically, you give them this motivation to go through this difficult period in their 3D physical life. And they're doing it without you, mind you, okay, in the physical, in the matrix. But through 5D consciousness, I really feel that your person is connected with your higher self through their space of love, okay, in their heart space, also their mind space. And they realize that they have a hard time of taking action. So there's there's a battle between 5D consciousness and 3D consciousness. In 5D consciousness, what I'm seeing is that your person, um, they are connected to you, okay, in that, that place. But in the 3D, they're having a hard time of approaching you, okay? That's what I'm seeing. Now, they're going through some sort of cycle, okay? Mind you, we're still going through a Mercury retrograde. There, there's a gift that your person would like to offer you. I'm getting Desert Rose. If Desert Rose means something to someone, um, I feel that that's very significant. Uh, I am getting something like that. Maybe somebody lives in a desert area like California, Arizona, um, maybe some places of Nevada. I don't know where this desert area is. Could be New Mexico maybe Texas. Um, I'm really getting that this person is going through some sort of a cycle, okay? And they're practicing their free will, okay, about this victim mentality. So your person is in some deep thinking, okay? I'm not going to lie. Throughout this time, if you guys have been in separation, I really feel like they've been they've been living their life, okay, without you. And in their own physical reality, they've been playing the victim in regards to a karmic relationship. Okay. They they had their free will to choose whatever path that they wanted to pursue. And it was the karmic, right? Let's just put it like that. Now, this person is going through some sort of cycle. They're going through a dry period. Now, there is something that they would like to offer. They've been thinking about it, but they feel really insecure about giving this offer towards you, Capricorn. Okay, that's what I'm seeing here so far. And um, what I'm also getting is that they no longer want to be cold. Okay, um, if this person was really uh, distancing themselves, uh, acting very cold uh, from you, I really feel like they're starting to warm up. And... Um, and really try to get out of their head about where they're at, okay? Because they realize that they need some work. They're not perfect. Um, you know, if, if they're a spiritual being, they realize that, you know, their spiritual growth uh, has no end. Uh, everyone continues to grow and evolve in whatever uh, daily circumstance that um, the individual goes through, okay, and in that moment in time, and um, I say that, you know, this group of people or whoever that they feel a sense of uh, belonging to is really important, so they feel isolated, and they don't know where they stand. Now, they have some dreams here, and they feel like they can't think about their dreams, because they need like of a third party. So I have a feeling that your person knows that they have to let go of a karmic in order to pursue their dreams, their goals, to evolve into a spiritual being, uh, to not be stuck in some sort of toxic situation. But I really feel like your person is actively working on it but they can't go fast enough, right? I, I seriously don't feel you guys are together in a 3D relationship. As a matter of fact, I feel like you guys are in separation and you guys are at a distance, okay? You guys are not together. 
um, in the meanwhile, you're a particular person over here. They're learning the spiritual lesson. Now, um, they're going through a major change and transformation, uh, if you will, in regards to letting go of this family. But they're doing it in their time. Okay. Uh, that's what I'm feeling. So everyone's timing is a little bit different. And if it's not a family, it's a group of people, okay, that they realize that they have to release because this third party is actually getting in the way of this particular person coming into union with you, Capricorn, at this time. Now, I have a feeling like they don't understand. So this is the blockage in their spiritual growth. They don't understand about how they can go into a new direction. So again, they feel stuck in 5D consciousness. They're together with you in 3D consciousness. Okay, you guys are in reality in separation and um, they have a hard time of letting go. Okay, so this is very kind of a Scorpio type energy. And I don't know if I said Scorpio in the very beginning, um, but regardless. Okay, um, I have a feeling that they need to release and let go of being admired through a group of people and really take that energy inwards and see what are the what are the traits that is admirable about them what what is it that they like about them and not an inflated ego version of themselves right uh that's what i'm feeling your person is going through some hard truths and um they realize that they haven't been vibing on a higher level, they realized that they were not connecting to uh, their higher self. Now, if they were connecting with you, uh, with you through 5D consciousness in the fifth dimension, they realized that um, they, they couldn't really reach that on a continuous level. Okay, so that means that your person was not consistent. Maybe one day they were feeling enlightened and spiritual, but they didn't follow through. There was no follow through. Um, and the next day, you know, they go back to their their um, 3D way of living through a 3D consciousness. Okay, because they're battling out 3D consciousness with 5D consciousness. So your person has a hard time of possibly grounding themselves because in their 3D reality, it sucks. Okay, I'm just going to have to put it out there. It sucks for your person for whatever it is that they're currently going through. Okay, and I see that they have not really reached a conclusion about letting go. This person has a hard time letting go. Now I see that that's the lesson. The lesson is letting go of, over a karmic situation or a way of thinking even a way of being and they feel like they they can't really come back towards you until they let go of this situation so your person is very by the book right um before they go from point a to point c they have to go to point b they can't skip point b until they've mastered b okay until they they master b then they can go to c you know uh that, that's the feeling i'm getting you know they can't go to you because they're possibly still in the commitment so i mean i really feel like i'm channeling a a group of capricorns where your person could be in a committed situation with the family okay uh, or a group of people and they're learning to let go they're trying to really go deep into their their higher self and really see, you know, what feels right. You know, um, they're having a hard time of bringing 5D consciousness to 3D consciousness. Okay. 3D in the third dimension. That's what I'm saying. You know, they're having a problem with emerging uh, or being multidimensional in that uh, aspect. So let's go ahead and see what else. Spirit, can you please reveal to me what is the energy of this person when it comes to Capricorns and love? How they currently think of you? How do they feel? What is it that they want? And what is the outcome? And Spirit, what is Capricorn's energy towards this person? How do you currently think and feel? What is it that you want? And the outcomes and Spirit, what is the connection between the two? Let's see.
Yeah, so there's a lot of blockage going on. So, you know, they have a blindfold on and they're doing more listening, okay, and not feeling. They don't want to feel, okay, uh, but they're, they're trying to listen to their head. Now, if your person is mental, if they're like an air sign, um, that could be an issue. <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, let's see. Now, I have a feeling that, I mean, this could be about you, Cap, okay, with the Queen of Pentacles. So, they're trying to block themselves from feeling that you are this person that they feel connected to. And I really feel like they're trying to disconnect you from that because you're not with them in the 3D, okay? They're possibly in another commitment and another situation. And... um you know, they see that you're stable. They see that you're grounded. Um, they know that you're well-to-do. Um, you're not needy or codependent. You're very self-sufficient, self-reliant. Um, and you know how to take care of yourself. And not only that, you know how to take care of other people because there's a, what's this called? A jackalope? <laughs> a bunny with an antelope? I don't know. Um, you know, you attract other sentient beings around you you have no issues you know people they look up to you but this particular person has a hard time of connecting to you and i really feel like this is in the 3d sense okay now i see that you know there's a reason and it's because you know they're getting out of a situation now this is about family um now let's say that your person is in some sort of relationship and I could be talking to some of my Capricorns who are actually married to your person, okay? Um, and you guys are, are going through a situation. If you're married to this person right now, I really feel like there's a disconnect, okay? I'm just going to have to put out there. It might be the end of your relationship with that particular person. Um, because right now, I see that you guys are not really uh, vibing with one another, Okay, but if you're not married and this is your person who is in another commitment with someone else, I really feel that their household is not stable. Okay, they're going through some sort of difficulty. Um, there could be some sort of uh, legal situation that they're dealing with or um, maybe... Um, I don't know. They're just not doing well, guys. Okay. That's what I'm saying. I mean, it could be a divorce. It could be something like that. They're just not stable. Now I see that they're trying to leave the situation behind dealing with uh, getting out of a relationship with a karmic. Okay. Because I see that the karmic is on to your person, but your person is trying to leave the karmic situation. So um, they're having a hard time of leaving some sort of karmic. Uh, relationship okay or situationship and they really want to leave it behind but they can't shake this karmic off for whatever reason okay um now i see that their pride and ego here is in the way okay and like we have here a king of pentacles so maybe someone who is watching this you actually are married okay to to this person or maybe there's two different marriages that are going on um that's what I'm feeling. Now, if you guys aren't married, um, you're dealing with another earth sign. Okay. Uh, that's what I'm seeing. And what I'm feeling with that, if you're dealing with another earth sign, okay, they're actually, uh, feeling very arrogant. Okay. Like, um, you know, they're, they're hard at work, you know, they're busy doing their craft and they feel like they can't, move forward okay they feel like they can't do it. why because they need to heal and we saw that earlier on okay they have their lesson is to leave a karmic family behind do they feel good about it no they're having a hard time of letting go okay like i said it's very kind of scorpio like energy um but capricorns you know um you know, this is your person. So if you're dealing with another individual, they're very stubborn. Okay. That's what I'm feeling with them. Now, um, you could be dealing with a cancer and I see here in Aquarius energy, whatever the sign is. Okay. I feel that your person really is ready to move things forward. They're trying to get out of their head about being stuck in a situation and the reasons why they can't even offer you apology or, 
uh, express how they're feeling and uh, they're looking to see what they should do and at this time they're just choosing to hold back okay they're choosing to not communicate with you um, because they have to leave a karmic situation behind. So I really feel, and I feel very strongly for everyone, okay? Like if you've been watching my channel and you're resonating with this, you are not with your person, okay? This could be your twin flame, your soulmate, whoever this person is. You guys are in separation, okay? You're not seeing them. I feel like they're actually with another energy, another person of another family, and they're dealing with their karma with the karmics, okay? That's what it feels like. They're learning to release and let go of that situation, and that's why they can't really offer you much. I'm also saying that uh, they're holding back because they have made a decision to not communicate. So again, so for today or this week, uh, I see that your person is purposely holding back, not communicating to you because the timing just isn't right. And I really feel like it's because they're going through some, some situation here. Their home life is upside down. It's not stable. They're possibly dealing with a, a karmic, maybe a couple different karmics. One could be a baby's mama and the other could be someone else. Okay. I'm just going to have to put it out there. Now, um, they have their heart blocked. They can't feel right now. Okay. Uh, they don't have that luxury. That's what I'm, I'm hearing. Yeah. They're holding back from telling you that they want a reunion. Okay. That's what I'm saying. And this person is still very passionate towards you. So I see that they are for you, but they can come to you right now. Now for some, it could be between four to eight weeks, four to eight days. As far as I can see, it may take eight months. So it could be until August. Okay. Um, your person definitely wants to have a commitment. Okay. They have changed and I feel that they're spiritually more awakened than they were before. So let's see what else. Now I see that with them. Okay. They, they need time to really figure it out. Okay. And I feel like they're getting downloads. They're, they're being enlightened at this time. Okay. Now with you, Capricorn, you're looking at this third party. Yeah. The third party got in the way, but you just have to turn around and see that the love is still there. So this is with you connecting with your 5d consciousness, knowing that there is love in, in a higher frequency. Okay. There was always love. It was never uh, gone. Okay. If you will. Now I see her, the emperor. Now, if you're watching this as a twin flame, channeled message i see that a divine masculine is making plans okay they need to stabilize themselves first before they can take action now how do you guys feel wow so i see that with your person okay they are feeling that uh this third party situation is getting in the way and i see that here with the queen of wands so uh they are feeling like they need to deal with whoever this person is who uh, feels like they're entitled um, and they're very controlling, somewhat manipulative, and this is their karma. So again, you know, throughout this whole reading, I'm just saying that you're not with them, okay? They're with something else, okay, or someone else. But um, they're learning their lesson right now. It's not like they're having a great time, okay? Now, in the meanwhile, Capricorn, I see that you keep thinking about the past. And yes, you're thinking about the karmic, but um, you're just trying to stay positive and think about the good times, right? Now, what do you guys want? I see that your person really wants to come towards you and make this offer okay it may take about a year so within a year your person is going to make an offer towards you cap okay everyone's timing is going to be a little bit different now i see that uh capricorn you're like it's been five years <laughs> It's been a long time. I haven't received anything, you know, that kind of an energy. And, um, you know, you, you really need to get out of this energy. So I see that you're still kind of hung up on this situation. And I, and I can see, you know, yes, you've been in separation for this person for a long time. And all you have are your thoughts and your memories in regards to this person. Okay. And, um, 
I really see that um, you just need to change your vibration because this pentacle is coming. Okay. You just have to have uh, faith, patience. Okay. Um, and uh, I guess intuition, right? Now, in the outcome, I see that your person's trying to get out their head about how they could have this family with you okay and i see that capricorn you want to you want to know the truth what is going on with this whole family situation so it's one thing that your person has to leave a karmic situation but how are you guys going to integrate with one another after all of this time that's what i'm saying i i really feel like there's family there's dogs okay there's grandkids there could be children here involved um that's for some and uh your person realizes that they can't let it go, okay? They're practicing patience. They're trying to balance themselves out, and you feel conflicted. So I really feel like, Cap, you're, you're going to get triggered, okay, in regards to this family situation. Now, I see they're trying to get out of their head about this whole family thing because just because your person cuts out of a karmic family doesn't mean that it's over, right? Um it's going to take time. And I see that they're trying to get out feeling hurt. Okay. About not being able to work on things with you. And I see that you're reflecting. You're doing a lot of deep thinking and your person, they realize they need time to really figure out, okay, how they can heal. So they're being more analytical over here and um, they're trying to figure out what they should do. And look, we have here the high priestess, but it's in reverse. And what did I say? You need to have like intuition, right? Capricorn, but you're not seeing it. Um, you know, I would say just kind of like check out, right? Take you a spiritual bath and all of my bath products are on sale. And we have a new moon that's coming up in Gemini. This is a perfect time to take a spiritual bath, guys. No kidding. Um, the spiritual bath will help you. Uh, clear your mind, remove any kind of negative energies that you have in your auric field so that it goes down the drain, whether or not you, you take a shower, if, you, you're, if you're a shower person, you know, get you a body scrub or body polish, um, or if, uh, you know, you're a bath person, I have bath bombs, bath salts, okay, you, you could find all of this in my website, okay, guys, and if you guys need, uh, like, a personal reading, my personal readings are on sale. So, you know, this is what I'm seeing, you know, so far. So let's go ahead and see what else, because I really feel that it's your person that needs to really deal with their karmic situation. And for you, Capricorn, you just have to practice patience. And I know, right? That's my favorite P word, patience. Let's see. Uh, what does your person want to say? What does your person want to say? Circumstances, even though it was difficult for me to ghost you, I know it was for the best. Wow. Man, that, that's pretty hard, you know. Also, unavailable. I know you're a catch and I love your company, but I just want to have fun and keep my options open. Damn. So, you know, your person still needs to work on themselves. And I really feel like this is an old version of them. I don't feel like this is a new version of them. This is them of the past. Okay. And also we have narcissism. I like to play mind games to make you miss me. You know, that's kind of messed up, right? So your person it could be intentionally doing this to you. Now, for some, they know that they're doing this. But for others, this is kind of second nature for them. And the reason why they're acting like this is because of the karmic partners that they're attracted to. Because those karmics are narcissistic. And they play mind games, acting as if, you know, um, they want to keep their options open. Why? Because they don't know what they want. Okay. But I really feel like this unavailable energy, this is a past energy because right now they're learning their karmic lessons and they're getting their asses handed to them right now. 
I really do. Like after this whole situation dealing with the karmic, this person should know what it is that they want. They're going to be available, okay? But they don't know if you're going to be available to be open to them, especially, okay, if they're coming back like this now, okay? I really feel that for my Capricorns, um, you know, this is like an immature version, okay? Now, the circumstances, I understand that they possibly ghosted you because they were doing something with the karmic. That is their free will. That is what they chose. You have to let them go through it, okay? You can't tell them what to do or how, you know, how they can change or how they could ease the blow, okay? They have to go through it. That's that's their lesson because um, if they don't learn the lesson, they're going to do the repeat. So this is for my Capricorns who, who will got to be in the know, right? Um, you know, if you feel like this is your energy with your particular person, just know that they're in a karmic situation. They can't be with you right now and they're going through it. Okay. That's what I'm seeing. So let's go ahead and take a look at the spirit animal message okay so let's see let's pull a spirit oracle and see what the spirit wants to say so this is for my sun moon rising venus signs or cross watcher who is watching okay spirit the guidance that capris need to know at this time Wow, we have two. We have a turtle and an ant. <laughs> oh, I, I love the turtle spirit. Hmm. Very interesting. Um, it says, time to collaborate and slow and steady wins the race. Now, <sighs> let's go ahead and read what this says. When Ant Spirit comes to visit, it's to celebrate the benefits of working in a partnership with others as a part of a community or tribe. Spirit reminds you to build your dream. You need to work with others, accept help, and trust in your most important partnership, the one that you have with Spirit. Your intentions will come into fruition if you remain awake and focus on co-creating your reality with others and with spirit remember that the world around you can easily seduce you if you don't have some sort of practice or discipline like meditation to keep you on track as you build your life you desire connecting with others and having accountability partners can be very helpful as it's unlikely that everyone will fall asleep at the same time. The other message and spirit holds is that you are now an auspicious time to ask for help and receive it, whether you need help assembling a team, finding a new tribe, or re requesting assistance from others who are there for you. Everything is working to support you right now. All right, so I really feel like this is for the person that you're dealing with, with this and spirit, because we saw that they had the free will to choose and <clears throat> they need to really, uh, they're looking for their soul tribe. They don't know where they stand. Whoever that they're dealing with, with this family, it's, they've outgrown that situation. It's time to evolve and um, really open up towards new people, new partnerships and things of that nature. And I could be speaking to my cappies, okay? Take it as it resonates, but it's time to collaborate and be open towards other people, Okay, you don't have to do it all by yourself. Now, I also see her turtle spirit. It's a number 62. So it's about uh, making a decision and going in a direction. All right. So it says turtle spirit arrives to remind you that when, 
when you do what you need to do, putting one foot in front of the other and trusting that you will see your intentions manifest in perfect timing, your prosperity and love will grow exponentially. Now is not the time to rush around trying to force matters. Move slowly, perhaps even so slowly that it almost feels as if you are not moving at all. This is typical of a freaking earth sign, okay? <laughs> No wonder why I said turtle was my spirit animal. <laughs> Oh my God, I guess. that's so funny. Anyway, uh, this may be a time to crawl before walking, taking your time to align to turtle spirit place as you contemplate this road that you're on, doing what you need to do in this small moment will soon pass. Turtle spirit reminds you that sometimes the best action is to slow down. So if it feels as if you're not doing enough, know that simply being aware of what is happening right now may be an important step towards determining whether you need to pivot or simply keep putting one foot in front of the other true love and true success comes with patience guys i can't make this stuff up <laughs> man what did i say oh my god <laughs> I, I can't with this um focus on the now and the next step will be clear what did i say it's time to focus on the present moment, you know, and really ground yourself due to meditation, masculine, okay, or your person, your divine counterpart, you know, um, they're connecting with you uh, through 5D consciousness, but intermittently, right? Not on a very consistent level. And so what I'm feeling is that your person needs to really ground themselves and practice meditation daily. It should be the daily practice. And, um, you know, if you're new to my channel, you know, welcome. I always... Uh, mentioned that, you know, everyone should do meditation at least five minutes a day. You should incorporate into your daily practice. You should do it, uh, you know, every morning when you wake up. Uh, and it could be as simple as, you know, uh, chanting uh, Om Mani Padme Hum or, uh, or just sitting still for five minutes doing deep breath work, right? Just you know, sitting still, feeling relaxed, clearing your mind, and taking 21 deep breaths, focusing on breath, slowing your mind and your conscious awareness, okay, so that you can ease into 3D consciousness, you know, as you're waking up from your slumber from 5D consciousness into 3D consciousness, and, and really, you know, I guess kind of blending the whole like uh, dimensional aspects of self, right? That's what I have, guys. You know, I really hope that this was helpful. Let me know. Thank you all for watching. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, as I mentioned earlier, they are on sale. Um, they're about 10% off, give or take. Um, everything is marked down, so there's no coupon necessary. But if you have a coupon, you could definitely apply your coupon if you're uh, a previous uh, person who had booked a reading with me or had purchased products. You can definitely use your coupons on the discount, okay, on the sale. So, um, Thank you all for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.